Hello dear mom miners, this is Alexander from Niche Mining Software Company and today I will show you the correct way to install and configure our newest 202 Fimbra for 17 series models of Bitmine. So how we do it? We go into our official website vnish.net We must download SD recovery. Here you can choose your model S17, T17. This is the same file for unlocking the ASIC. S70 plus this file and T70 plus this file. So we have S17. We're going to download it. Now we must unzip this file. Choose this directory. Now we must take the micro SD card to make it format uh, FAT32 and all these files just copy to SD card. Now we must insert the SD card with the contacts on downside to the ASIC. Taking the bottom cable and insert it. Now the top cable. And we must see the two LEDs green and light green and red lighting after a few seconds they will turn off and now we must wait for 10 maybe 15 seconds for the blinking of those leds wait for three four blinks and Turn our machine off. The top one cable is enough. Now we take the SD card off. And we take back to on position the top cable. Now, the best way is to wait 10, maybe 15 minutes for uh, make uh, to the recovery firmware to do change with the ASIC. Now it's unlocking uh, SSH ports and making a uh, new recording of uh, peaks on uh, hash boards. After 10-15 minutes, we can install the Venish firmware. It will take something about 1-1 one, one minute and a half. Okay guys, I started the video with funny voice, but now be serious. Let's go to the ASIC. The new firmware is installed now. So, if we had upgraded from stock firmware using the SD card, the first what we must to do is to make a reset to our machine. I will not do it because our machine is configured. After we made reset, we go into mining profiles and here we choose the wanted preset. 
ignore minimum voltage uh, limit uh, it's very good function that's mean uh, it moves the uh, bottom li limit of voltage in preset in preset to lower one if chips are good for make uh, better energy efficiency so this function is good here uh, better to give him 50 times to restart auto fix domains sometimes you see some domain in red zone like uh, like this all chips red so if you see it even if you not see it better to activate this function uh, or every one hour or every three hours but not 30 minutes because it will make too much restarts i prefer i prefer three hours but if you have asic with not the best condition of chips you can uh, take it to one hour uh, here the minimal uh, hash rate for restarting that's mean that if the hash rate hash rate of machine going lower from this uh, volume ASIC will restart the chips uh, chain disable temperature it's very important to give to give him maximum 86 degrees even better to give 85 degrees because the solder of uh, 17 models uh, uh, have some degradation after 86 87 degrees so it can kill your machine uh, target chips temperature 75 degrees is the best that means that coolers will work uh, for constant uh, giving to a 75 degrees the auto switch is very important function very uh, interesting function the new one uh, it's made for automatical uh, down volt or overclock according to the temperature of ASIC so if we reach if the chips reach in more than uh, 83 degrees like 84 degrees the profile will, cha will change to the lower down if ASIC still overheated to lower down and until the lowest one uh, the this uh, here better to leave it uh, 100 percent and if you have another volume uh, change it to 100 percent here the chips temperature for upping up for for taking up uh, the level of uh, overclock to next up next one and this volume as uh, 18 percent is the best uh, so uh, here just copy my configuration this is the best here and here uh, the settings uh, quit fun mode at startup it's very necessary in winter time in the summer time you can leave it but uh, i i use it always immersion mode uh, who use immersion uh, activate this toggle asic boost must be on as usual disable the unbalanced restart some asic have problem with the uh, electric power and uh, they cannot start mining without uh, uh, because of um, hash blade uh, getting unbalanced what voltage from power supply if it happens you activate this function uh, the same is here uh, this uh, there's two troubles uh, very popular popular in cold time uh, as you know some machines cannot start mining in temperature down uh, to 80 uh, 20 degrees so if we activate to this option it will be ignore the temperature of weather uh, cheap warm-up disable 
for summer time uh, activate this func function because in summer in hot time we don't need to warm up the chips and uh, in the cold time uh, deactivate this function because uh, we must uh, warm up the chips uh, reset profile we activating uh, then our auto profile is not, is not good uh, we didn't reach the wanted result so we can uh, do the auto tune uh, from the from be from beginning by activating this function uh, please remember after we configuring every page uh, of our ASIC we must click on pre-save for saving the functions uh, without restart the machine now uh, after that we are going to uh, configure our pools and workers uh, who needs to configure IP static or DHCP going to here regional settings you can choose your language security settings SSH port opening or closing it's automatically closing but better to check if it open please close it administration here we changing our password it's very recommended after we uh, finished all configurations of our machines but but all of this we can do in multiplier uh, that's mean that if I uh, choosing the all local net where we have uh, connected all our ASIC uh, for example, SSH ports from uh, start IP to, to end IP, here are the password, uh, if I do it like this and click apply, all machines in this diapason will take the configuration of uh, SSH port off. The same with the password. We can choose uh, in bulk all password. The same uh, with uh, all config. Uh, the workers, the pools, the profiles, and uh, all uh, additional features. Uh, if we will save this profile like this. I give it I must give it name now I going to upload the same start IP end IP the password the pre-save the name of pre-save if I click apply I will give to all all our machines in the in the same uh, local uh, web I will give all configuration that configured in this machine it's very good function for big data centers now we have very important and very interesting feature uh, uh, for uh, mining hostings we can uh, make a redirecting of traffic for a salary to mining hostels from one point from 0 0.1 to 10 percent uh, this firmware is still for tests, so we don't have this function here in the config multiplier, but in the released version, you will see it here. So, the same like uh, here, you can choose a uh, number of IPs or all IPs of your machines to insert uh, the hotel fee. You will see the hotel fee in main in status page because we making it very transparently. Uh, the owners of machines must must know that uh, they are uh, hosting taking fee for for servicing the machines, for example. So this stroke never be hidden.
Uh, I think uh, it's good explanation, so I explained it about all. Thank you for attention. Ah, uh, by the way, by the way, if we are upgrading from previous niche version, like uh, 100 or 200 or 201, uh, we don't need to make a reset and we make we must make the upgrade from previous version to this one only with keep keep settings that's all thank you for attention